Hello and welcome to another edition of the Lynn Lowdown. And today we have Judy Van Coyman. She, t she told me how to pronounce it. Did I get it right the first try? Yeah, you got it. There, there, there yes. we go. Judy is a friend of the, she's a friend of ours here. She's got a program here. She does a lot of things. But today she's here to talk about the fair, the resource fair happening on September 11th and some other stuff. How are you, Judy? I'm doing fantastic. Thank you very much for having me here. You know, it's our pleasure to have you here. But so tell me what's what's going on. How's things been for you? You know, we've very kind of came back from mm. pandemics being home all the time. Tell me, yeah, yeah. how's it been for you since, you know, things kind of getting back to normal? Yeah, they've been great. Uh, we were actually busy because we are, are all about resources and we got emails and calls and people needing, you know, more information or, you know, are, that we're stuck in the middle mm -hmm. of situations and everything. But um, I have a cable show myself that Lynn Cable airs. I'm so grateful for that. It's called Life Issues. Mm -hmm. And we, that's all about resources also, anything to do with life. Mm -hmm. And then I piggybacked off of that and started a nonprofit in memory of my husband. So that we are about ready to have our ninth annual resource fair. I can't believe it's nine years. We couldn't mm -hmm. have it last year yeah. for obvious reasons. And then we decided, we've always held it in Winthrop because we're Winthrop based. Mm -hmm. And we decided to spread our wings and we are moving it to Lynn mm -hmm. for the first time through mutual people and my newest board member um, who is friends with the executive, executive director of the new Lin Y. Yes. We're having it there and it's gorgeous there. Yeah. What, what, what was one of the things that got you to decide, you know, let's, let's get it out of Winthrop for this year and let's move it into Lynn, you know, Lynn is close by too, but what was, right. what was some of the things that made you put, make that a consideration? Well, Winthrop, is a close-knit town. There's only two ways in and out. So mm -hmm. if you're not coming to Winthrop, you don't come. So we wanted to exp you know, get more people coming to the fair. Mm -hmm. And I do all types of advertising for this event. I mean, everything and anything, you know. Uh, there's so many options nowadays. And um, we still wanted more people, so we decided to, you know, just come over a couple towns north and, because. Where Greater Boston and North Shore area mm -hmm. organizations uh, participate in this. Okay, got, gotcha, gotcha. Now, tell me some of the, what are some of the stuff that people can find at these resource fairs? What are some of the things that you all help help individuals out? Yeah, with? well, like I mentioned, the um, life issues is all about um, life and you know connecting people with resources, and so um, or the organizations um, that will be there. Uh, we have um, first. Um, Red Cross mm. will be there, and just for example, and Project Bread, mm. and there's so many that I'm not going to be able to name them all. But yeah. um, so people can visit each table and see, you know, if something, you know, they might have a family member that needs help with a uh, uh, resource mm -hmm. there, and so do that. And then it's a family type event. So we're going to have um, the rainforest reptiles. We've had oh. almost every year since the beginning. And the kids love it, love them. And uh, you got the animals on displays and stuff and they get to have the snakes, the snakes touch yeah. them and they get to wrap the, the <laughs> snakes know. around their shoulders and things like that. Yeah, yeah. Oh. that's not for me. Yeah, no. not for me either, yeah. not for me either. I'm not, a, I'm not a reptile person. But the organization Rainforest Reptiles is a great, great company. And mm -hmm. so they're very accommodating and very helpful and everything. So that's one of them. And then we're going to have um, Awesome Rob Magic Show. Okay. We had him for the first time year before last, the last time we had the resource fair, and he's really great with the kids mm -hmm. and everything. And then we're going to have a young lady who does face painting and dresses up as a princess, and the kids um, love that. These resource fairs are so, they're so important for networking, networking-wise for a lot of families. And they just come in there, maybe they might need the assistance, but they know somebody that needs the assistance, and they just come up there talk to the folks and get all the vital information to whoever and get it out to those that weren't able to make it. That's why these resource fairs so many, are so important. And also people don't know that these these type of resources are available in communities or just available in general without something like this happening. 
Exactly, exactly. And since, you know, last year, like I said, we couldn't have it, and so people are, you know, anxious to get out mm -hmm. and, and do some networking and yeah. stuff. This is a great opportunity and, and everything. So, and we'll have some snacks and water and yeah. um, hopefully live music. Mm -hmm. The young lady that usually has done it had another commitment that day, so um, she's awesome. Um, her voice is just phenomenal mm -hmm. and stuff. So that's basically what we're going to, you know, have for the course of, of the time. It's yeah. from like you mentioned, 11 to 2. So the organizations can um, come early to set up and everything and mm -hmm. do some networking yeah. and stuff. Because when you're manning your table, it's very hard to see what's going on down across the way yeah. and everything. So Now, do our organizer do... Can organizations still sign up? Is there still a t time frame for organizations to sign up if they want to be a part of this, if they, if they want to be part of the fair? If they call me, I can you know talk to them about it. We did have a cutoff date has mm. up last Friday, okay. um, and now the fair is um, two weeks from this Saturday, mm -hmm. so it's getting kind of close and everything. So I have to finish doing the you know touches of final tally yeah, and all that. Yeah. Well, right now, how, how what would you say? How many organizations that you have commitments from right, right now? now? It's almost thirty. Mm -hmm. So that's pretty good. And all these are North Shore based organizations, North Shore and Greater Boston based organizations, I should say. Mm hmm. Okay, yeah. so there's going to be a lot of opportunities for, for folks to get the, to yeah. get vital information. And another thing, um, a lot of people are looking for volunteer opportunities because mm -hmm. they love volunteering, and these organizations are looking for volunteers for one reason or another. Mm -hmm. And so this is another great reason to attend the resource fair. Yeah. And it's free for everybody. Yeah. The, organizations and the attendees, you know, mm -hmm. uh, families and everything. So we, unless they want to make a little donation, like if they get some snacks or something, mm -hmm. they can throw in a dollar in the bucket or yeah. something. But yeah. but otherwise, you know, we, you know, it's all free for everyone. Yeah. And in normal years, how many, how many of these types of events that you would normally put on uh, have throughout a, in a normal non-pandemic year, how many <laughs> were you guys, Type yeah. of, these type of events where you got, where you all doing before? Yeah. We always just do it um, in September, mm -hmm. once a year, and it's right around the anniversary of my husband's passing. Mm -hmm. And so I wanted to do this, like I mentioned earlier, in his memory. Mm -hmm. We do have an annual um, fundraiser in the spring. Uh, it's a comedy show, and everybody loves, loves, loves that. Mm -hmm. And this year when we had it, people were so ecstatic because they – we're getting out finally, yeah. and so they had a blast. Mm -hmm. Now, was that also a great thing for you, just for to be able to get out and put something together where you could actually talk to people and not through Zoom or phone mm -hmm. calls or, <laughs> no. or anything like that? Was that just having that first one that you did earlier in the spring? Was that just something like a kind of like a kind of a relief because you've like been inside so long, haven't been able to talk to people like that. Yeah, yeah. Mm -hmm. um, it, it, this was all in person and, you know, people, you know, like I said, enjoyed it. The comedians were hilarious. We had Lenny Clark. Mm -hmm. Who doesn't love Lenny Clark? <laughs> He's very hilarious. Yeah, yeah. And Johnny Peasy. Okay. Now, for more information, please let the people know where they could go to find out more information about the resource fair and about your organization. Of course. It's um, phone number is 617-462-5719. And my email is Judy, J-U-D-I-E, at T-W-C-T-I-N dot org. And... Um, Everyone is welcome, and it's great. I mean, and if you haven't been to the new uh, Y, you have to come and check it out. It mm -hmm. is phenomenal, and everyone is so nice and will answer, you know, questions and, and everything. So, yeah. That. Hey, one more time, please tell them the date of the resource fair. Date and time. It's Saturday, September 11th. That is a special day for a lot of people around here, and we figure we're a nonprofit, and we're there to help people, and and that will you know help out and um it's from 11 to 2 at the lynn y at 40 neptune boulevard day and there you go judy thank you for coming on and giving us that information this, this was great information for the people and hopefully people watching contact her if you need any assistance or anything and just if yeah 
just do that. You, you got all that information. So you guys have been watching the Lynn Lowdown. Have a great day.